Good afternoon and welcome to Ossining High School's 2023 graduation ceremony. Would everyone please stand and join us as OHS senior Autumn Valdez sings our national anthem. Oh, send us down. 
Thank you, Autumn. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to invite to the podium our superintendent of schools, Dr. Raymond Sanchez. Good afternoon, members of the Board of Education, colleagues, families, friends, and most importantly, the senior class of 2023. I am honored to be part of this significant occasion and share with you in this celebration of your graduation. Class of 2023, I begin by stating that we are all very proud of you. Today, we proudly recognize the class of 2023 as an outstanding class that has received various distinctions. Class of 2023, you should be proud, as proud of yourselves as we are of you. You have brought great honor to yourselves, to your parents, families, Austin High School, and the entire Austin community. For this reason, I ask all the attendees to please join me in a round of applause for our graduates. <laughs> While you individually have demonstrated commitment and effort each year, we cannot forget that this accomplishment reflects the support and love provided by so many people. For this reason, I would like to thank the parents, guardians, family and friends, teachers, counselors, coaches, administrators, the Board of Education trustees who have all supported our graduates on their educational journey and in life. Students, class of 2023, please join me in thanking all the adults who have helped you reach this point in your educational career and life with a round of applause. Class of 2023, when I was younger, I would sit on my abuela's couch and watch public television. There was one show that had a profound impact on my life, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. During this show, a humble man named Mr. Rogers would take time to put on a sweater, sneakers, as he engaged us in his neighborhood. As you prepare to embark on your next chapter of your life, I want to share some lessons of Mr. Rogers and the power of the number 143. The number 143 was more than just a number to Mr. Rogers. It was a symbol of love and compassion. Mr. Rogers reminded us that it only takes one letter to write the word I, four letters to write the word love and three, to write the word you. I love you. The number 143 reminds us to cherish and nurture the relationships we have, to foster love and understanding, and to treat one another with kindness and respect. OHS graduates, as you move forward from this milestone event, I encourage you to carry the spirit of 143 within you. Recognize the power of love and compassion. In a world that can often feel divided and disconnected, be the ones who bridge gaps, who seek to understand, and who spread kindness unconditionally. Mr. Rogers reminded us not to underestimate the impact of small acts of love. A smile, a kind word, a helping hand, these gestures, like the number 143, have the power to touch hearts and transform lives. They can brighten someone's day, inspire a sense of belonging, and create ripples of positivity that extend far beyond your immediate reach. As you embark on your individual journeys, you may carry the spirit of Mr. Rogers and the essence of 143 within you. Together, create a world where lives thrive, where empathy flourishes, 
and where the impact of our actions echoes far beyond your graduation day. Strive to be the embodiment of love and compassion in your actions, in your interactions, in the way you treat yourselves and others. Before I conclude, I want to leave you with one more number, 853. See, it takes eight letters to write the word ossining. Five to make the word loves, and three to make the word you. Ossining loves you. Graduates, I want to remind you that you are surrounded by people that love you, Ossining has, and will always love you. Congratulations to our graduates. I wish you all the best, and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sanchez. It is with mixed emotion that we say goodbye to Dr. Sanchez as we are grateful for his 25 years of dedicated service and positive impact he has made to our community. <laughs> Ossetting's Mr. Rogers, Dr. Sanchez, will be leaving us at the end of this school year and graduating along with all of you today. His passion for education, unwavering dedication, and tireless efforts have truly made a difference in the lives of countless students. Throughout his 10-year tenure as superintendent, Dr. Sanchez has consistently demonstrated a commitment to equity, ensuring that all students have access to high-quality education and equal opportunities for success. His inclusive approach has fostered an environment of acceptance and support where every student feels valued and empowered. Dr. Sanchez's innovative mindset has also been instrumental in driving positive change within our school district. He has embraced pedagogical approaches and educational strategies, constantly seeking ways to enhance the learning experience of our students. Under his leadership, our district has thrived and evolved, preparing students for the challenges of the 21st century. Beyond his professional achievements, Dr. Sanchez's genuine care for our scholars sets him apart as an exceptional leader. He has consistently placed the needs of our students at the forefront, advocating for their well-being, growth, and development. His presence at various events and celebrations has shown his commitment to connecting with students and celebrating their achievements. Time is one of life's most precious commodities, and Dr. Sanchez has given a lot of time to us. You cannot put a price tag on time, and his commitment to our school district does not go unnoticed. As Dr. Sanchez moves on to new endeavors, we can be confident that his legacy will endure. Generations of students will continue to benefit from the foundation he has laid, and his impact will be felt for years to come. On behalf of Austin High School, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Sanchez for his selfless dedication and wish him the very best in his future endeavors. As a token of our appreciation, we would like to present Dr. Sanchez with a gift. An engraving on a clock plaque that reads, time is the most valuable thing a man can spend. Thank you, Dr. Sanchez, for dedicating 25 years of your time to the Austin community. So good afternoon again, and welcome to Austinings High School's 93rd graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome members of the Board of Education, Dr. Sanchez, Ms. Mauricio, Ms. Myers, Ms. Turner, Ms. Zuber, faculty, staff, administrators, families, friends, and the reason we are all gathered here today, the class of 2023. As I reflect on you, the class of 2023, the word that comes to mind is time. What is time really? Time is a, is a fundamental concept that plays a crucial role in our lives. It is a measure of the duration or sequence of events that allows us to perceive and experience the world. While the Merriam-Webster dictionary defines time as a measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists and continue, its significance goes beyond a mere definition. 
I am sure you're all wondering, why is Mr. Hancock up there talking about time? Does he not know we just want to keep it moving so we can all get out of here and celebrate? However, I ask everyone to go along with me for a moment. Many of us in this room as children were eager to grow up looking forward to the freedoms and independence that adulthood promised, like staying out with friends as late as we want, driving a car, eating whatever we want whenever we want, not have a curfew, not be told what to do, and move out and not have to share a space, and the list goes on. We spend so much time wishing life away that before we know it, we realize that the challenges and responsibilities of adulthood are not exactly what we anticipated. Adulting is hard, and you are about to realize that very soon. I am sure most of your parents, like mine, told you not to be in such a rush to grow up. Being an adult can sometimes be fun. However, that list gets old pretty quickly. I was talking to a former student recently who shared with me how hard being an adult really is. She remembered my uh, being in my social studies class at AMD and me telling her not to grow up so fast. She admitted that she regretted not listening to me. Being an adult comes with a great deal of responsibility, like paying bills, electricity, heat, water, cell phone, food, and the list goes on. I am sure your parents remind you of this often. Enjoy your youth. You are about to write a new chapter in your life, and look how fast four years went. Do you remember your freshman year was cut short by a global pandemic, COVID-19? March 13th was your last day of freshman year at OHS. Coming back in September of 2020 as 10th graders and being assigned groups called Ossining Pride or Virtual, your group dictated what days you would come to school. Learning behind a screen, many with your cameras off and your teachers never knowing if you were learning or even listening. Coming back as juniors after being away from most of your peers for a year and a half, it was weird walking around the halls full of students again. All of a sudden you were seniors and why would it be any different than how you ended freshman year? Last week, we experienced what seemed like a zombie apocalypse, and let's not forget the two buses breaking down at prom and needing to play musical chairs at midnight. Lastly, do you remember that I was your fifth grade principal? What you may not know is that you were my first class ever as principal. You taught me so much, and I am so proud of the individuals you have grown up to be. I recall your dare ceremony in fifth grade from the little kids you were then to the mature and tenacious adults you are now. I am thankful to have been your principal for five total years. Be the one to present each of you with your diploma today and call you graduates of Austin High School. Yes, class of 2023, time does indeed fly by. And as you get older, you will want it to slow down. Someone once said, the bad news is time flies. The good news is you are the pilot. Therefore, enjoy your next journey, wherever that path may lead. Time is a commodity that you will never get back. So be selective in how you spend your time and with whom you spend it with. Instead of wishing to get to the next step of what you want in life and wishing time away, wish for time to slow down and live each day as if it were your last because tomorrow is never promised to anyone. Graduation is a time for celebration, and no one is as excited as the class of 2023. However, many adults in the room who have been a part of your life in some way, this is a bittersweet time. Graduates, most of the, one of the important things that make our high school special are the individuals who have dedicated their lives to educating and preparing you for the world of tomorrow. You will reminisce about the good times you had and the profound lessons you've learned with the exceptional staff at OHS. With the faculty and staff at Austin High School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> faculty and staff, guys. <laughs> You, the class of 2023, have been advised by two talented teachers who have seen you grow up over the last four years. Would Mrs. Helly and Mrs. Reddington please stand and be recognized as your class advisors. I have the great pleasure and opportunity to work alongside dedicated individuals who ensure we continue our commitment to providing the very best education. 
Would Mrs. Bergen, Mr. Ducos, Mrs. Langley, Mrs. Mingo, and Ms. Reyes please stand and be recognized. It takes a village to raise a child, and there are so many educators who have helped you achieve this milestone today. Before you were at OHS, you were in at least five other schools and many, many classrooms. Would my colleagues from across the district, administrators, principals, teachers, educators, and staff, please stand and be recognized. There are a few individuals who will begin new journeys in their lives as they retire from education and pursue other dreams. Please join me in recognizing our retirees this year, Mrs. Annabelle, Mr. Clayton, Ms. Griffin, Mrs. Harrison, Mrs. Kretschmar, Mrs. Moran, and Mr. Scamron. We wish you well as you begin your new and exciting adventures. I also want to recognize two board members who are retiring from the Board of Education. Would Mr. Galef and Mrs. Rudley please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your years of service to the board. Last but certainly not least, is a group of individuals who have been there with you every step of the way. They have been your biggest cheerleaders. They have been there for you in the most challenging moments. They have laughed with you. They have cried with you. And they have been your rock to lean on. No one is as proud of you as they are right now. Graduates, always remember this. Nothing should ever come before family, no matter what. Family will always be there for you. I ask the families of the class of 2023 to please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your support that you have provided and for trusting us to educate your most precious gift. Talking about time, as I bring closure to my remarks and recognitions, I too will be graduating along with the class of 2023 and marking the end of my 15 year career as an educator in the Austin Union Free School District. To the class of 2023, you hold a special place in my heart as my very first class as a principal. And it is with mixed emotions that I bid farewell. Serving as a principal of this prestigious high school has been the honor of a lifetime, surpassing anything I could have imagined when I first joined the district as a young teacher from the Bronx. I had no idea then the more remarkable story that would unfold for me, filled with countless memories and invaluable opportunities. Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Austin, you have consistently made me feel welcomed and supported throughout my tenure, and for that I am profoundly grateful. O oh, pride always, it has been a privilege to serve you. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I wish you the best today, tomorrow, and always. At this time, I would like to invite up to the podium our first student speaker, Reniela Fay Concepcion. Good afternoon, family, friends, and administrators. It is an honor standing here before you today. My name is Reniela Concepcion, and some of you may know me as Ella or Ren. In 2013, I immigrated to America from the Philippines when I was seven years old. My first ever memory was going to New York City like every tourist. I remember the bright lights, the sounds of the subways, the car honks, and the infamous rats on the streets. Overwhelmed by the number of people surrounding me, I was walking around like a clueless child and ended up getting lost. 
Additionally, I do not know how to speak English, which was more terrifying. As I was surrounded by flashing lights and billboards in the center of Times Square, I started crying and screaming for my mom. Just as I was losing hope, a person with a Spider-Man costume came up to me. <laughs> I thought he was actually Spider-Man, so I trusted him right away, which, thinking back, was not the brightest idea. I asked him if he could, get, if he could shoot webs with his hands, and he found it funny, so he complied. I thought he would help me find my mom by calling the police, but instead, he played along with my imagination and said his spider senses could find her. As soon as he said that, my mom found me. I turned to say thank you, but he was gone. That day taught me that Spider-Man was real. <laughs> Jokes aside, the real lesson that experience gave me was that some people will always be there to hold out a helping hand. You just have to know where to look. Austin High School has given us countless of opportunities to pursue our passions and go beyond our comfort zones, whether on the football field, in the art studio, or in the science research program. We were the last class in person before the COVID-19 pandemic began. Our class was the last to know how high school had run prior to the pandemic. The times when clubs had been able to actually gather together in physical spaces and seniors had hosted welcoming and team building events for the underclassmen. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, such traditions were not possible. So when our class returned in person during junior year, we were tasked with rebuilding that sense of pride and community. Yet in our minds and in our hearts, we were still freshmen. We had lost that time and many were looking to us to remodel how to reclaim it. This has been a difficult job one that has posed many challenges for us, but one to which we have risen together. Throughout the obstacles we faced, positive or negative, Austining High School has supported our diverse interests and our future goals. I remember teachers telling me that we are an exceptional, one-of-a-kind class that stays united and never loses ambition to be better. Because of this, the experiences and challenges we face in our school have prepared us for the unforeseeable beyond these walls. We have learned the meaning of reflection, confidence, and collaboration. We had a remarkable year, with us bringing the prom tickets down to $65, the senior prank, the senior sick day at the beach, and all our other events. It's touching seeing everyone get closer during our last months, but it's sad that now we are leaving. This is our last and final day as high school seniors. Leaving these doors, we will officially close a chapter in our lives. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I thought these four years would go slowly, then I blinked and here we are today. Our journey does not end in graduation. Whether you are pursuing a higher education or a career, this is just the beginning. Although this may be a goodbye to high school and our childhood, this is the beginning of a new chapter in our lives where new paths await us. The beginning of a new chapter filled with new challenges, growth, hope, and learning. Just like that day was in Times Square, today is a beautiful day filled with anticipation and excitement. Like high school, there will be gloomy days ahead. No matter how lost you feel or how discouraged you are, always remember that you are not alone. Someone will be by your side. There will be failures and setbacks along the way. Do not perceive it as a reason to stop, but as a reason to continue. My wish for everyone in this stadium is to be hope and to be faith, to remember that you will always find yourself. Anatole Franz said, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. And take it from me, as a young first generation Filipino immigrant who was unable to communicate with her third grade teacher, I am proud and honored to stand here today to say that I did not only act, but I also dreamed, not only planned, but I also believed. And to all of those in here, in our wonderful class, who have overcome your own boundaries, I am proud to stand here among you. It was an honor being your president for all four years, your classmate, your friend. We created fond and unforgettable memories in each other's lives that will last a lifetime. I leave you with one piece of advice today, and it's to always remember where you came from, 
but to never forget where you're going or where you set your mind to. Congratulations to the families of the graduating class. I can feel the love and the pride in the air. I want to thank my parents for being my heroes. I could not have done this without you. My friends for their support and my teachers. It's been wonderful. I especially want to give a sincere thank you to the class of 2023 advisors, Ms. Reddington and Ms. Helly. Finally, congratulations to the class on making it through. Good luck to all that comes your way. A Filipino word that comes to mind when thinking about today is mabuhay, which means live life. Congratulations to the best class, the class of 2023. Mabuhay, let's be someone's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Okay, at this time, I would like to recognize the academic scholars of the class of 2023. The students receiving this award have maintained a grade point average of 90% or better throughout their years at Austin High School. This special award is being memorialized by a medallion, which is being worn by the recipients throughout today's graduation ceremony, and their names have been noted in the commencement program. Would all the academic scholar recipients please stand and be recognized. Thank you. As educators, we understand and appreciate the value of hard work, determination, persistence, perseverance, and dedication. Over the last few weeks, we have had the pleasure of celebrating many achievements of our seniors in the areas of the academics, athletics, and the arts. Additionally, we awarded approximately $200,000 in scholarship money to 88 seniors. Our impressive list of students who have received scholarships and other special honors is listed in today's commencement program. Please join me in giving these talented students a loud round of applause. This year, we celebrate our fourth cohort of students who will be graduating from our AVID program. Most of these students have been in the program together since their freshman year, supporting one another both academically and emotionally through this journey. All of these students were accepted into college and or postgraduate uh, career programs. Furthermore, many receive scholarships. This special recognition is being memorialized by a sash which is being worn by the recipient throughout today's graduation ceremony, and their names have been noted in the commencement program. Would our AVID students please stand and be recognized? <laughs> the Seal of Biliteracy is awarded to students who have shown mastery in two languages. These students have taken minimally three years of language courses since eighth grade and scored 85% or better on the various language assessments given. They completed a project, essay, or portfolio demonstrating proficiency across all modalities in English and world language. Furthermore, they completed extensive community service hours. This special recognition is being memorialized by cords which are being worn by the recipient through, uh, recipients throughout today's graduation ceremony, and their names have been noted in the commencement program. Would our seal of biliteracy recipients please stand and be recognized? Thank you. The Seal of Civic Readiness is awarded to students who exhibit exceptional competence in civic education and engagement. This is our first year and first cohort of students being awarded the Seal of Civic Readiness. To qualify, students must meet rigorous criteria, including completing a comprehensive, 
comprehensive civic education curriculum, actively participating in community service, and demonstrating effective communication skills. By meeting these criteria, students demonstrate their commitment to civic responsibility and readiness to actively contribute to their communities and the world around them. Would our Seal of Civic Readiness recipients please stand and be recognized. I would like to recognize those students who will, be, who will be moving on to serve our country in the armed forces next year. These students are noted in today's commencement program. With the students who will be serving in our armed forces next year, please stand and be recognized. At this time, I would like to invite our salutatorian, Sarah Gardner, to share some remarks. Speeches of this magnitude often end with thank yous, but I would like to start this speech off with mine, as my teachers, mentors, friends, and family members are the only reason that I'm able to stand here today. To my math teachers who taught me to love, or should I say tolerate, something I used to despise, my social studies teachers who taught me the mistakes of the past in order for us to have a brighter future, and English teachers who taught me the importance of effective communication. To my engineering mentors and science research teachers who changed the course of my life, inspired me to discover my passions, and pushed me to realize my greatest potential, I extend my sincerest gratitude. To my parents for their unwavering support, and my friends who had my back through every step of the journey, I seriously would not be standing here today without you. However, the biggest things I learned from this incredible journey had nothing to do with the black holes in my science research project or the robots I built in engineering. As cliche as it sounds, I learned the true value of failure, and more importantly, getting up every time you fall. Maybe that sounds strange, as we're here today celebrating one of our greatest successes yet, graduation. And there is reason for recognition of that monumental occasion. But by the way the world has conditioned us, you only ever see this sort of success, but never the struggle that actually gets you there. Far too often, while searching for a way to define success, we get caught up in how that looks in the eyes of everyone around us. However, we often forget there is no single definition. You have to go out and make that. Your purpose, your meaning, your why. So the question remains, how? Slowly, just like putting together the pieces of a puzzle. Full disclosure, I hate doing puzzles. Often, we are impatient to see the full picture and exhausted from the tedious task of matching up the individual pieces and sections. As we all work towards our plans for after graduation, many of us find ourselves with those impossible pieces as we ask who we are on a fundamental level. A lot of the time, it's more like trying to pull pieces together of a puzzle that we don't even have the full reference picture for. Interestingly though, I didn't find most of those puzzle pieces on my happiest days, nor in the successful moments that the world sees. It was on the hardest days that I grew the most. The days when I came home from engineering defeated, when I stayed up until 4 a.m. night after night after night because my workload demanded it. The days when I felt like I wasn't enough. The days when I thought I wasn't going to make it through. You, and when I say you, I mean your identity, isn't only defined by your greatest accomplishments, but also by your lowest, most challenging moments. It's defined in the bittersweetness. Just like life, there's always joy embedded in the sorrow and sorrow embedded in the joy. It's a constant back and forth, and I guess that's a part of its beauty. 
Emotion is fleeting, that's its nature. It ebbs and flows like the tides, being pushed and pulled in a constant cycle. And if that word specifically, bittersweetness, doesn't define today, I don't know what does. I implore you, don't be afraid of the struggle. I promise that it's there, and in your triumph over that struggle, that you learn the most about yourself. But if I've learned anything, it's that you don't have to figure it all out right away. Take your time, live, find what makes you happy, what lights your own internal fire, whether that be science, art, dance, music, history, English, sports, or entrepreneurship, whatever it is, don't let anyone take that from you. And if you're really doing what you love, worldly success will follow. The ghosts of many past versions of ourselves roam the halls of Austin High School. Memories fill its hallways and classrooms, forever written on its walls. Although the picture might not yet be clear, I hope you all found a piece of yourself there, a few small sections of the huge and beautiful puzzle that is your life. Be patient as you figure out how the rest of the pieces will fit together. Who do you want to be? I find profound beauty in the fact that life is constantly giving us the opportunity to build upon and rewrite the answer to that question. So just as I started my speech with thank yous, I want to end it in a similar fashion. When I was as deep as one could possibly get within the struggle, it was the people closest to me that kept me going. Time and time again, I've realized that human connection is one of the deepest and most profound meanings. So, just as much as I've encouraged you to find your passions, I encourage you to find your people and to hold on to all the people you've already found in your 17 or 18 years on this earth as tight as you can. I leave you all today with a series of questions, a quote from my favorite novel. And just as it only takes a moment to die, it only takes a moment to live. You just close your eyes and let every futile fear slip away. And then, in this new state, free from fear, you ask yourself, who am I? If I could live without doubt, what would I do? Who would I care for? What battles would I fight? Which paths would I step down? What joys would I allow myself? What internal mysteries would I solve? How, in short, would I live? Class of 2023, don't be afraid of the struggle. And if you are, that's okay. Do it scared. I would now like to invite up to the stage our senior vocal ensemble. a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it. Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction. My faith is shaking, but I, I gotta keep trying. The 
struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking, sometimes might knock me down, but no, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that I gotta remember most, yeah, just gotta keep going and high. I gotta be strong, just keep pushing on. Sing it! It's always gonna be another mountain. Always gonna wanna be the roof. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes you're gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get through. Let's give it up one more time for our senior ensemble. At this time, I would like to invite the class of 2023 valedictorian Joseph Robertazzi to share a few remarks. Good up. <laughs> Good afternoon, administrators, families, honorable guests, alum, and everyone in attendance. Thank you for coming today. But more importantly, Good afternoon, OHS class of 2023. Please give them a round of applause. I want to start off this speech by talking about something that I'm sure everyone in this auditorium has heard of, Legos. Ever since I was in elementary school, yes, shorter than I am now, I've been fascinated by the endless possibilities that Legos had to offer. Starting at age five, I began toying with small-scale Lego sets of action-packed superhero scenes in tiny cities. However, as I grew older, I gradually worked my way up to the more complex sets, such as space vehicles like Apollo 11 or modern pieces of architecture like the Willis Tower. Each Lego set came with a distinct set of instructions that, when followed, allowed you to perfectly replicate the image preview shown on the side of the box. Despite the initial excitement that compelled me to purchase a set every time I took a trip to the store, Lego's recreation aspect only took my interest so far. Instead, the infinite possibilities that each set bore after completing a build are what truly made me fall in love with them. Rather than sticking to the instructions of each set, I always found myself lingering in the mindset of, what if? What if I built astronauts in ancient Egypt instead of on the moon? What if I reconstructed the Statue of Liberty to look like Doja Cat? What if I made a scene where Tom was the mouse and Jerry was the cat? Each time I bought a new set, I let my creativity take control, always ending up with a final build wildly different from the picture on the side of the box. I consider our class, the class of 2023, the same. 
a Lego set wildly different from the outside of our box. Consisting of exactly 358 distinct pieces, we've all come together on this day to celebrate our graduation and unify as a completed set, possessing all of our personalities, talents, experiences, hardships, and dreams. And as you know, each set takes time to be built. Ours took four years. We all started as Lego pieces in this very auditorium exactly four years ago during our middle school graduation. Back then, none of us knew what kind of piece we would become, blindly leaping into the hands of our builder, Austin in high school. Some of us were excited, some were nervous, and some maybe didn't feel anything at all. Regardless, we all adjusted to the new environment and made the most of our experiences at OHS. We spent this time learning, socializing, and working hard, both in and out of the classroom. We formed connections with each other during our offs and helped each other cram for tests. We played sports, attended games, worked jobs, and completed all of our assignments at the very last minute, I mean, well before the due date. And on a global scale, we've lived through the largest outbreak since the Spanish flu, forcing our pieces to scatter, breaking apart from the connections we developed in person during our freshman year. This massive scatter, however, also led to many new connections being formed online, greatly shuffling our set around. And it was during this time that our final Lego set began to take shape, with various parts of the set representing our friend groups, all of which were slowly clicking together at different rates. But all of that brings us to today, the day of our Lego set's completion. While it's not perfect, and we definitely didn't follow the instructions, it's our set, one that came into fruition through all of our life experiences up until this point. However, an aspect of Legos that I hadn't yet mentioned is rebuildability. After a set is fully built, it's usually admired for some time, but then is then broken apart, with its pieces being repurposed for different sets. And as we leave here today, we become those pieces. Pieces that are separated from our current set and thrown into the unknown hands of our next builders. But if there's one thing that I've learned at OHS, it's to savor the time that you have while connected with the pieces you care about the most as we can't stay as a single set forever. And though it seems scary, we've done it before, and we will repeat the process for every new set that comes our way. So, to take away some of the pressure, I'll leave you all with a Drake bar, because why not? It goes as follows, because everybody dies, but not everybody lives. The countless collaborative experiences that defined our time at OHS are proof that we've all lived over the past four years. And as we go on, to become these pieces in these bigger and better sets, I challenge each and every one of you to continue cherishing every moment, to continue pushing boundaries, but most important of all, to continue living. Thank you and congratulations, OHS class of 2023. I would now like to invite our student speaker, Seth Newman, to share some, share some remarks. November 11th, 2017, was a cloudy day with moderate winds out of the southwest. To my mother's surprise, my 12-year-old self was unafraid to climb into the captain's seat of a Cessna 172 aircraft. I was not scared when the instructor told me to press the throttle until we reached 60 knots on the runway. I was exhilarated when he told me to pull back on the yoke, bringing the front wheels off the ground and guiding the plane to fly over the Hudson. With my mom encouraging me from the back seat, my discovery flight was a success. To this day, I've never felt more comfortable and more at ease than when flying an aircraft. I am Seth Newman, and someday I'm going to be a pilot. This journey started long before my time as a pilot. It started in the classroom in elementary school when we all stepped into the cockpit. I recall many of you playing during recess and all the joyful times we had going on field trips, from Jacob Burns, the Jacob Burns Film Center, to making candles and trinkets at Tea town Or when the time we went to the, our local Native American historical society where we learned about the cultures of, them, of those who came before us. 
It was here where we formed lifelong bonds with each other as we began, began our journey of discovering ourselves. We arrived in middle school and a lot of things changed. We all of a sudden start smelling bad, like really bad, like awful guys. Like Suddenly we had multiple teachers. We were sprinting in the hallways, always thinking we were going to be late to class. We had to learn to fly, but we got through it. And we learned to prosper, prosper even when there is heavy turbulence and when things didn't go our way. Even when the world felt like it was caving around us. Plus the well watch trip, that was a fun thing too. So now comes high school and the grind begins. We start to lose our friends, but we make new ones too. We start to stress about things like GPA, college essays, and tests. And now we have a plethora of after-school commitments, such as sports and jobs. But after a few sleepless nights and many missing assignments later, we have managed to pull through and get to this point here, sitting in these seats, waiting for me to stop talking so that we might walk across the stage with a diploma. In this moment, we have finally earned our wings. So now, we are surrounded by family and friends that have been with us since day one. Let us take the time to look around and honor and appreciate the love and support they have given us all these years as we prepare to enter the real world and take flight into the future. Now it is June 17th, 2023. It's a bright and sunny day with no ceiling, no winds, making it ideal for flying conditions. To our class's surprise, we climb into the captain's seat of whatever path we choose in life. Class of 2023, we've all seen each other grow and I've witnessed the capacity for courage and the ability to rise above the odds and challenge ourselves both in the classroom and out. Class of 2023, you've inspired me literally, I mean, you've inspired me to spread my wings literally, figuratively and academically and without the lifelong love and support, we would not have gotten to where we are ready to embark on this journey. We are a strong and endurant class that has shown nothing but determination, bravery, and sacrifice. Have a good day, class of 2023. Now let's fly. At this time, I'd like to invite President Crossling up to the podium. President Crossley, as principal of Austin High School, I certify that these graduates have completed all the necessary requirements to be granted a diploma by New York State. With the class of 2023, please stand and present yourselves. Good afternoon, dear families, friends, and educators. Thank you for being here today, and thank you for supporting these bright young scholars throughout their educational journey. You are to be commended for their success. I want to also acknowledge with immense gratitude the contributions of Principal Stephen Hancock. He has been a strong leader at Austin High School over the past five years. He has guided us through this moment today on this stage, a commendable achievement during the best of times, but when nearly three of those years include navigating a global pandemic, it is really quite astonishing. Your guidance, Principal Hancock, patience and stewardship 
is very much appreciated. And we wish you well in your next chapter. And we welcome Principal Langley and look forward to what the future will bring for Austining High School. In Principal Langley's very capable hands, we will carry forward the work of Principal Hancock and of course, Dr. Sanchez. As Austining High School continues to grow and develop and evolve to continue to be a dynamic and learning environment where our students can thrive. So, speaking of evolution, students, you are of course to be commended for your hard work as well. But if the past four years have taught us anything, it is that the person that you are today will not be the person you are a few years from now. You may even be a different person four weeks from now. The next few years of your life will change more than you can imagine. So much change can be intimidating, but if you commit to developing the future you as you have already shown that you can, you will all achieve success. I was recently struck by a quote from the Ted Lasso season finale. Human beings are never going to be perfect. The best we can do is keep asking for help and accepting it when we can. And if you keep on doing that, you will always be moving towards better. Dear Austining High School graduates, put yourselves out there, be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to try something new. And if you do that, you will always be moving and evolving towards better. Class of 2023, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> By the power vested in me as president of the Austining Board of Education, Congratulations, I now declare you graduates. You may move your tassels. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left, congratulations. Please be seated. We will now present the diplomas of the class of 2023. I ask your senior class advisors, Mrs. Helly and Mrs. Reddington to please join me. Are we doing this first? Congratulations to all the graduates and families. Seth Newman. Sarah Gardner. Joseph Robertazzi. Grinella Fay Concepcion. M Mustafa Abdallah. Tatiana Adams. Temi Alula Adesina.
Chakuma Adiel Irakazi. Wanya Asan. Isabel Albaniga. Davis Ayako Guapa. Devin Almodovar. Andy Alonzo Arias. Dylan Amster. Ethan Arambolas. Christian Aravalo. Valerie Arias. Kevin Israel Arpi. Annabelle Arpi Caracunda. Allison Auki Bernal. Erica Iora Ayabaka. Catherine Iora Shagwe. Jomira Azanya Chunir. Miles Bala. Andrash Balatoni. Joseph Balatoni. William Barahona Mejia. Natalia Barragan Munoz. Joseph Barreto. Stephanie Barreto. Sarah Bates. Dominic Batista. Alexandra Beckford. Michelle Benitez Rivera. Avion Bennett. Tayana Bentley. Jasmine Blake. Darian Blaylock. Stephanie Bonilla. Fabio Bravo. Catherine Bravo Hara. Edward Bryle. Woo! 
Lonia Brewer. Mia Brito. Jordan Brown. Robert Bino. Lissandra Cabrera. Christian Kajamarka. Gianna Calabro. Fausto Camacho. Tierra Campbell. Anna Campo Verde Ramirez. Austin Caparelli. Nicholas Capio. Anthony Capello. Litzy Cardenas. Owen Carr. Rafaela Castinera. Nilson Sente Lopez. Lenny Chacha. Jacob Chacha Patino. <laughs> Sophia Chauka. <laughs> Franklin Chichuca. Lisette Chichuca Morocho. Jose Abel Collado. Alexis Cooper. Jacqueline Yvonne Corda. Ruby Corania. Jennifer Criollo. Jake Cruz. Justin Cruz. Dario Cueva. Kristen Kuji. Amelia Curry. Alexandria Cusano.
Nayeli Kuzco. Samara Davis. Augustine De Armas. Ianca De Los Santos Rodriguez. Carlos Deleg Munoz. Gloria Delgado. Xavier De Los Santos. Mira DiMatteo. Emily DeCenso. William Don Savage. Daniel Dorsbacher. Nia Doty. Orion Douglas. Axel Duarte Guerra. Kaya Dulik. Felix Dunford. Michelle Duque Zinin. Bakir Zafarovic. David Echeverria. Caitlin Edmonds. Sarah El Sharafi. Madison Engelbrock. Jacob Enrique. Evan Escobar. Valerie Escobar Fernandez. Siobhan Evans. Fiona Pharmacopolis. Liam Fells. Abigail Furman. Carla Fernandez. Joanna Fernandez Lopez. Alex Fiallo. Gavin Flood. Lacey Flores Cabrera.
Isabella Flores Monroy. Michael Fortuna. Anthony Friedrich. Hope Samara Funk. Gabriela Galarza Huaca. Sarah Galef. David Galindo Delgado. Nicholas Gallery. Jiraya Gamero. Daisy Gautier. Andy Jinnan. Glidel Go. Ralph Go. Brian Goldberg. Ivani Gomez. Jean Paul Gonzalez Herrera. Leroy Gooden. <laughs> Ariana Goodwin. Samantha Gordon. Samuel Gratz. Ariel Gregory. Christopher Guayas Zinnin. Mike Guapa. Selena Guapa Bermejo. Bruno Guambana Mora. Diego Guambana Zagui. Jadiel Guevara. Kiana Giragucha Flores. Eduardo Guzman Oriana. El Alexandra Ha. Abraham Hasik. Woo! 
Isaiah Hay. <laughs> Devin Hernandez. Arely Herrera. Ronald Hidalgo. Emily Huang. Mark Anthony Huizar. Leslie Ieskis. Jean-Pierre Ijesaka. Karen Inchiglema Shispan. Jay Iorio. Ava Ippoliti. Jacob Irons. Alexian Jackson. Anthony Harama. John Harama. Kaylee Harama. Hanan Javed. Sarah Jennings. Guillermo Jimenez Garcia. Grace John. Charlotte Kane. Another picture. Yahira Lalve. Kyron Langhorn. Madison Langley McKnight. Julia Laurentowski. Roman Lavalia. Anjali Lehman.
Leonardo Lemus. Valeria Leon. Sarah Ligori. Daniel Lohano Vivar. Brian Lopez. Christelle Lewis. Mohammed Loom. Ashley Lavastic. Kate Lowenthal. Michael Luchizano. Jesse Lynch. Noor Mahmoud. Caitlin Macris. Isaac Maldonado. Pascal Mansour. I think we switched, right? Hello. Couple different sides going on as well. Yeah, Harry is the second, so. That is definitely not high enough. Can you make this higher? Okay. Harry is the second. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. Joshua Marin. Frank Carl Marrero. Naya Marshall. Ronan Marston. Jillia Martel Loja. Bernardino Martinez Gonzalez. Jamara Matilo. <laughs> Veronica Mayancella Lazo. <laughs> Patrick McMahon. <laughs> Rebecca McMahon. Jeremy Medina. <laughs> Estefany Merchan. Freddie Merchan. <laughs> Joseph Merchan Romero.
Nixon Marino. Sophia Merladet Laroca. Navy Mickelson. Jacob Miller. Myasia Miller. Kayla Minter. Leah Mione. Gianna Mitchell. Juan Molina. Amy Mangas. Brandon Monroy Mejia. Gianna Montague. James Montague Jr. Havala Moon. Melanie Morales Mendez. Skaron Rodriguez. Sola Mori. Laura Murillo. Christopher Morocho. Natalie Morocho Chimbo. Judy Mustafa. Denai Munya Cabrera. Dominic Munafo. Antonio Marinelli. <laughs> Teresa Murray. Joanna Neves. Cynthia Miola. Melissa Nivisela Harama. Estella Brielle Oretta. Jennifer Ortiz. Gaudi Ortuno. Jason Osorio. Naya Patel.
Lorenzo Patrici. Michaela Patterson. Ashley Pavarini. Rayleigh Pelaiz Zinin. Millie Perez Jacom. Nicholas Perry. Nicholas Persaud. Zoe Phillips. Eric Pintado Matut. Diane Purcell. Jocelyn Quesada. Michael Quesada. Anthony Key. Angelo Kigi Gana Tanalama. Nick Kindy. Brian Kishby. Franklin Kishby. <laughs> Sophia Rajput. <laughs> Jennifer Rama. <laughs> George Ramirez. Kimberly Ramache Gomez. Jaden Reyes. Zachary Reyes. Wendy Reyes. Jason Rincon. Angelica Rios. Michael Rivera. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, I'm in all of these. Shania Rivera. Lucy Roach. Yeah. 
Tristan Robinson July. Maritza Rodriguez Guzman. Danny Rodriguez Lopez. Jaden Rojas. Natalie Rojas Aravalo. Ashlyn Rojas Valdez. Ashley Rosales. Lily Rubenstein. Derek Rudley. Jacqueline Ruiz. Nicole Ruiz. Christian Sateros. Julian Salcedo. Jonathan San Martin. Michaela Santa Cruz. Emma Santana. Justin Santos. Paula Sakipai. Mary Sarango Ayas. Kobe Sari. Rosita Sari. You got it, you're good. Brian Sarmiento. Audrey Schnecker. Michelle C. Ori Shackney. Safwa Siddiqui.
Hunter Silva. Jada Star Smudek. Carlos Salarte Sanchez. Eric Solis Prado. Leslie Solarzana Zinin. Stefan Spaho. Selena Saintville. Oliver Staley. Quan Stambo the third. Vincent Stella. Melissa Sugisupa Alvarez. <laughs> Natalie Switnicki. <laughs> Fanny Tamay. <laughs> Elvi Taveras Rodriguez. John Tenacata. <laughs> Hannah Tenacata Arpi. <laughs> Stacy Tenempagwe. <laughs> Liz Tenasaka. Kristen Tenasaka Puya. Maritza Tenasaka. Robert Turilli. Isabella Tesoro. Christopher Tuaponte. Shalia Tucker. Tristan Underwood Bertone. Ricardo Orhiles. Ada Yusal. Autumn Valdez. Miguel Valadaras. Isabella Vanegas. Haley Vasquez. <laughs> Brian Velasco Kaiser. No, okay. Steven Valet.
Okay. Julian Vieira. Lindsay Villa. Dylan Villa. Jennifer Vivar. Evan Wesenyak. Madeline Wickman. Brandon Winslow. Nube Yankee. Yegley. Anaya Young. Genesis Younger Roach. Valeria Zaruma. Brianna Shingri. Kelly Zinnen. Carlos Zinin Guaman. David Zuniga Flores. And Anthony Zupa Cordova. Let's give our graduates another thunderous round of applause. The class of 2023. Would the 2023 Ossining High School graduates please stand and join in the singing of our alma mater. This concludes our graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Thank you for coming. Congratulations and best wishes.
Thank you.